Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Michaela, and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are in a little bit of a different setup, but I am currently washing my bed sheets, so I didn't want you guys to see my my raw mattress so we're in this new little setup so i hope that's fine with you guys today's video is going to be one that i've been wanting to film for a super super long time just because as bath and body works continues to put out new scents there's so many of their scents that i smell that i think man put this scent in a glass bottle and you can mark this up for like a hundred dollars like it smells like a luxury perfume so that's basically what this video is going to be today it's going to be body mist that i think smell like luxury perfume or just luxury perfume dupes. So before we get started, do not forget to follow all my social medias. It's going to be a long video. Grab a snack and let's get it started. So the very first products that I have to share with you guys are actually not body mist, but they are perfumes, but they are luxury perfume dupes. These are from the brand called Dossier. I feel like Dossier has been so, so hyped for a good reason recently, so I'm sure you guys already know about them. So I know you guys are probably thinking, girl, why are you showing us perfumes for a video that is literally dupes for perfumes? But that is what Dossier is. Is, it is actually a luxury perfume dupe brand so they take your favorite most hyped up luxury perfumes and they replicate it but for literally a fraction of the price if you guys know designer perfumes usually get as expensive as over $300 but dossier remains at $29 so this is what the inside looks like it just comes with this really sleek little glass bottle what's super cool about dossier is that they come with a little 50 millimeter sample size so you can test it out wear it on your skin see if you like the longevity if you like the scent if it meshes well with your body chemistry and obviously if you like it you just keep the perfume keep the mini maybe throw it in your purse but if you do not like it they have a 100% customer satisfaction guarantee so if you do not like it you can return it full refund which is perfect if you're somebody like me who is very hit or miss with perfumes they did send me three different ones Florianto vanilla which is a dupe for YSL black opium Florianto coconut which is a dupe for Tom Ford Soleil Blanc and the one that your girl is most excited for this is Florianto marshmallow this is a dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. You guys know everyone absolutely loves Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I'm pretty sure this is the scent where everyone says this is Rihanna's signature scent. But any chance your girl gets to smell like Rihanna, I'm so, so down for that. Especially because the real Killian is literally like 300 bucks. It is so disgustingly expensive. And so having an option like Dossier is so, so nice. So this is what Florianto Marshmallow looks like to me. This kind of smells like those orange bombs because I get this really, really rich, like strong orange scent, like a Coco Mademoiselle orange. But there's something in here that's a little bit fluffier and I think that's from that marshmallow note. If you guys want to check out Dossier, I will have a coupon code down below and I will have it on the screen as well. They always have a whole bunch of deals going on, like 25% off. And I think if you buy like three, you can get free shipping, but they're always adding new scents. So definitely make sure to check them out. Okay, y'all. So now we're going to actually get into the body mists that are legit luxury perfume dupes now you guys already know could i film this video without showing this specific one this is the pinnacle of the hierarchy of dupes for luxury perfumes this is you're the one i don't think bath and body works has came out with the scent that smells more like an actual perfume than this one you take this scent and you will put it in one of these like oh you guys can't even see it. that's really embarrassing but i have perfumes like up there I show you guys oh yeah right up there you take this scent and you put it in a glass bottle and you can sell it for like 150 bucks it's insane first off the packaging is absolutely insane if you're watching this and you want to get your little boo thing something for valentine's day maybe i think this would be so so cute if you guys have not smelled you're the one it is a white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar a flirty fun rose scent this does smell like a grown older woman but to me that's exactly what i want to smell like i want to smell like a woman that's on her ish and this is what it is this is a prominent loud walk in the room everyone's looking type of scent this is so so strong so powerful it's definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea just because it is a rose scent but that white birch gives it a little bit of freshness and that strawberry sweetens it up a little bit so it's not just a rose sitting by itself if you are somebody that you like those mature scents if you like very perfumey scents you are going to love you're the one i say this time and time again but bath and body works is giving miss dior a 
a run for her money with this scent. So the next body mist that I have to share with you guys is Into the Night. Now Into the Night is such a beloved scent, especially if you're on TikTok. I feel like Into the Night is the pride and joy of shower TikTok. Like everyone on there absolutely loves this scent. I think that there are Bath and Body Works users and then there are Bath and Body Works obsessors. And if you are just a Bath and Body Works user, Into the Night is something that you're obsessed with. Now if you've never smelled Into the Night, it is Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. Into the Night is such a deep husky scent. It kind of reminds me of Dahlia's Deep Sister just because it has that husky mocha-ness. It literally smells, it kind of gives you like a black opium, like ground coffee type scent, but don't get it twisted. It's not like a coffee scent. It's just like that mocha, but that raspberry noir mixed with that amber crystals in here just gives it that fruity, sultry, sexy scent. I just know why so many people like this one. Like you smell this and you're like, well duh like it smells so so good this is just so feminine so alluring it's one of those things where you smell it on somebody and you're just like Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> to me, this is definitely a nighttime going out scent. This is, you're wearing a little black party dress. You're going to like a rooftop bar. Like this is showstopper. I absolutely love Into the Night. Such a good one. So the next little body mist that I have to share with you guys is Into the Night's Twin Flame. This is In the Stars. But if you guys have never smelled In the Stars, it is Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. Usually I'm not an amber person, but in In the Stars, it works. In the stars is literally the exact duplicate for Ariana Grande cloud so if you're looking for a dupe for Ariana Grande cloud please check out in the stars from Bath and Body Works or Midnight Bloom from Victoria's Secret but yes this is such a husky feminine cologne it literally smells like an old spice axe but with that feminine light touch to me into the night is like an unapproachable femme fatale type of thing but then in the stars is like your dainty sweetheart type of approachable anyways yeah I've been talking about in the stars for way too long I talk about this like a million times on my channel I don't even have to describe this to you guys I should just hold it up and be like y'all already know so the very next scent is a thousand wishes now i do talk about a thousand wishes on my channel a lot but whenever i talk about it i always start off by saying i'm not the biggest fan of this one but i wear it just because everyone likes it on me i guess it works super well with my body chemistry this is pink prosecco sparkling keen crystal peonies gilded amber and amaretto cream it is a very dainty soft sweet girl floral this is definitely what i picture like the sweetheart good girl main character wearing it's super soft floral which gives it that mature kind of perfume smell to it i feel like a thousand wishes is just one of those scents where a majority of people really really like this one so most of the times they're really gonna like it on you the reason why i am showing it in today's video is because yes it does remind me somewhat of a luxury perfume it is a little bit softer but it has that distinct floral scent and to me florals are always always gonna remind me of luxury perfume so this one had to be shown in today's video so the next scent that i have to share with you guys is snowflakes and cashmere now i haven't got the chance to talk about this too much on my channel just because i did only get it last month but i have been absolutely loving this scent i feel like snowflakes and cashmere is such a weird scent because a lot of people like it basically i've never heard anybody say anything bad about snowflakes and cashmere it's just not that talked about and i think it might be because it is a part of the winter collection but literally i think that everyone that owns it like likes it they think it's a really good scent but how can it not be liked just because it is a basic like plain vanilla scent to be honest if you guys have never smelled snowflakes in cashmere it is vanilla cashmere wood that's not the note it is vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods and frosted clementine really get that frosted part of the clementine it doesn't make it a fruity nor fresh clementine you can literally smell almost like the like winter crystals on it but i really just pick up on that vanilla and soft cashmere in here it kind of reminds me of alien by terry mcglair gives me the same vibes but yeah you cannot go wrong with this scent it is vanilla but just super classy because it has that cashmere and that frosted note in here which gives me that luxury perfume vibe you can dress this super super up or super super down you can wear this when you're gonna meet the in-laws for the first time or you can wear this when you're just chilling on the couch so the next scent that i have to share with you guys is pure white Wonder. <laughs> now pure wonder i actually don't really enjoy pure wonder but i will say i don't like it because it does have a jasmine note in here i'm not a fan of jasmine they might try to sunshine mimosa this scent into where they just keep it for an unnecessary amount of time and just keep on switching the packaging even though i don't really like it i can unequivocally say that this genuinely smells like something super rich 
super expensive, super luxury. It smells like it could be a real life perfume. And of course, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So if you guys have never smelled Pure Wonder, it is Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. I'm not a fan of Jasmine, I'm not a fan of Amber, so it makes sense that I wouldn't be the biggest fan of this scent. But I will say, this smells like something that I could pick up at Macy's. This smells so rich, so luxe, it is so, so strong. This is one of those body mists like you're the one to where you do not have to top it off with a perfume because this is the perfume. This does not smell like Versace Bright Crystal, but it gives me the same vibes because when I smell Versace Bright Crystal, I get a floral, but it smells very, very clean. And that's what this smells like to me. It smells like a clean, crisp white floral. If you are somebody where you love floral scents, you love like a cotton clean laundry scent, and you love perfumey, strong pout in your face, sense pure wonder is gonna be your go-to pure wonder is literally a luxury perfume dupe the very next scent is going to be fairy tale now this is a scent that i actually do love i just don't give it enough love if you guys know what i mean it's something where like i have such a huge body care collection to where i actually genuinely do like this scent i just don't use it enough but i knew i had to share it with you guys in today's video if you guys have never smelled fairy tale it is pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber so i knew i had to share it in today's video because if you have never smelled fairy tale it is a dupe for ysl libre and i'm not joking it literally smells like ysl libre maybe it doesn't have that like concentrated perfumey scent like it but the base of this is almost identical now if you've never smelled YSL Libre and you've never smelled fairy tale the best way I can describe it is like you're walking through a garden because you're hit with so many different types of floral scents in here but it also smells very crispy like a fresh air scent and then you also get this like greenery type scent so yeah it literally smells like you're walking in a garden because you get that airiness you get that floral scent and then you also get almost like that stem scent in here it's floral from the orange blossom but it you also get that little fruitiness from the pomegranate and it's pomegranate nectar so it is on the sweeter side this is just all over a really really great scent hang in there y'all because we are slowly rolling towards the end did y'all think i forgot about this one because i really did it forever red i think forever red is one of those scents where we all love it and so nobody talks about it anymore i feel like forever red is the og into the night like forever red walked so that into the night could run. So Forever Red has the fragrance notes of fiery pomegranate, rare French peach, luminous apple, red peony, night marigold, red osmanthus, osmanthus, rich vanilla rum, velvety marshmallow, and oak wood. And do you guys see how Bath & Body Works used to put their fragrance notes? They used to put a top, middle, and dry notes. Anyways, if you guys have not smelled Forever Red, my friend Natalie said it best. This smells like Swedish fish candy. Like it smells like sweet, yummy, red Swedish fish. So sweet, so candy-like, but it also has that deep pomegranate, which reminds me of a perfume. I feel like pomegranate is such a deeper, sexy fruit. It's very much like drip off the lip berry scent. Now I will say that out of all the scents I've shared with you guys, this one is the least perfumey. So if you are somebody that you want to get into more richer, kind of grown womanly like scents, but maybe you're not into perfumes just yet. Maybe florals are too much for you. Maybe you don't like those super deep heavy perfume scents but you want to ease your way into it starting off with a scent like forever red is perfect just because this is very sweet this is very candy like but because it has that deeper notes in it it kind of gives off that like mysterious type of woman vibe you can wear this for so so many different occasions and this is something where i want to be like the fun girl at the party like i want to be the life of the party and i definitely feel like forever red is that scent now another scent that walked so that in the night could run is dark kiss now i don't talk about dark kiss too much on my channel not because i don't like it i absolutely love this scent but it literally smells almost identical to into the night i don't know why i feel like nobody says that maybe it's just me that thinks that the key notes for dark kiss is black raspberry burgundy rose bergamot incense dark vanilla bean and plum musk and i think the reason why i think these smell so similar is because this one has black raspberry and this one has raspberry noir this one has velvety rose petals and this one has burgundy rose and this one has mocha musk and this one has plum musk this is so sexy it has that incense note and if you guys have ever smelled incense you guys know it's very smoky but because it has that raspberry in here it gives it that fruitiness but it's also like a deeper fruitiness you know what i mean it's so luxury it's so 
It's just so good. Moving along, now we have Fireside Flurries. Now this is a new one in my collection. I actually got this for semi-annual sale maybe like two weeks ago. I've only worn this like once or twice, so I can't comment too much about the longevity of it. What I can say is that the projection on this is insane. I do a couple like spritz of this and I'm like, hold on, I need to take a little breather because this thing is super, super strong. I actually didn't really like this scent when I first smelled it, but I did decide to take it home because somebody said it mixed really really well with cloud or cloud intense something like that because they both have a lavender and marshmallow note and because i got cloud for christmas i knew i wanted to mix these two together the fragrance notes for fireside flurries is toasted marshmallow pink lavender and cashmere woods this smells very very masculine it literally smells like a cologne that my dad wears i have no idea what that cologne is called but then there is a bit in here like if you're smelling it for long enough you get that whiff of the marshmallow like it's super fluffy and creamy also get that lavender in here but it's just so subtle because the cashmere woods in here is so freaking loud you pick up on literally everything you get a toasted fluffy marshmallow you literally pick up on like this pink pepper lavender and then the cashmere woods is so so prominent this doesn't just smell like a luxury perfume this literally smells kind of like a luxury cologne if you're somebody that's super into like masculine cologne yet still kind of girly and feminine kind of like in the stars you will really like this this kind of is in the same scent profile as in the stars in my opinion now the very last scent that i have to share with you guys for this entire video for some reason i couldn't find the matching body cream but you guys know i talk about this scent and i show the body cream all the time on my channel but this is rose water and ivy i love this scent yet i feel like nobody really talks about it and i think it's just because I stand alone in the Rose Club, like the Rose Lovers Club. I think it's just party of one. Rose Water and Ivy is soft rose petals, rain kiss ivy, and creamy sandalwood. This is one of my most top complimented scents of all time. I used to be obsessed with Rose Water and Ivy so much. Like, I was never into Bath and Body Works. I only went in there for Rose Water and Ivy. I would have everything in this scent. I would have the candles, I would have the wall plugs, I would have the car fragrances, hand soaps, everything in my old apartment when I used to live um, like up in the Burbank area everything in my apartment smelled like rose water and ivy and I was obsessed with this scent this gives off Miss Dior roses and roses this gives off Miss Dior blooming bouquet I think that the um, rain kissed ivy in here just makes it so so much better because it yeah it's that powerful rose scent but it's that ivy that gives it that like watery aquaticness and i think that floral mix with the like water aquatic notes works perfect it's why so many people like um daisy by mark jacobs and aqua kiss from victoria's secret because it's that mixture of floral with um water so yes if you've always wanted to try like a misty or like blooming bouquet type scent but you don't really know how like rose and floral does with your body chemistry please Please try out a scent like rose water and ivy because this is like in that same family okay y'all so that was actually it for today's video i know it was super super long one i had so so many scents that i wanted to share with you guys but i just feel like bath and body works in general has been blowing it out of the park with their expensive scents i think that we're so used to bath and body works coming out with more like you know just like netflix and chill type scents very casual going to the mall those type of scents but recently in this past like year or two they have just been pushing out so many any luxe type scents and so that's why I had so many to share with you guys today but yeah like I said I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so so much for watching and thank you so so much dossier for sending me those products that I got to share with you guys but with that being said don't forget to follow me on all my social medias I love you guys oh so, so much and I cannot wait to talk to you guys very very soon love you bye